Hi, this is Dark Fox on Two Seven, and welcome to a creation kit video. This video is pretty much uh, very random. It's come out of nowhere because I was surprised to find something out. So early on this morning, I received an email through my contact form via my website, and I get a lot of people contact me on there about numerous issues. Sometimes I can help, sometimes I can't, sometimes I just don't get around to reading them. And this one was going on about an issue with the creation kit. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a read and see what I can do because. I've had problems before and people have helped me out so I'll pass on the torch and I'm like apparently it is crashing when loading up an actor and trying to preview them it crashes gives a few errors and I'm like hmm, okay that's odd I'll just sort of recommend a few things to try halfway through typing out this email and I just reread the original message which says this is after an update for the creation kit and I'm like that's funny because the last update I know of was about two years ago. So this is strange. And I'm reading the email again and I'm like, okay, let's just do a Google search for any recent changes to the uh, creation kit. Even though I very much doubt that after all this time, Bethesda gives a damn about the Skyrim community. Honestly, they've made all their money from the game. Why would they go back and, and visit anything to do with the creation kit? However, to my surprise, apparently they have released a beta for the creation kit, which is to do with uploading to the Steam Workshop. Now, as a lot of you probably know, I have now pretty much abandoned the Steam Workshop, and just a little extra announcement I will say about that is I was receiving just dumbass comments on certain mods, old mods, people being rude, and I was like, you know what, I don't update this anymore. Steam keeps removing links that I'm trying to cleverly put into the BB code for the descriptions, it's a mess. Sod it. I was like, even though this is going to affect people on the Steam Workshop using my mod, I don't care. I removed all my mods. I was like, not fussed. Anyone who really needs my mods back, they can find them on my website. They can find me find them on my Google Drive. They can find them on the Scrum Nexus. So that that's an extra little announcement about the Steam Workshop. I'm kind of not on it really anymore. But um, they have lifted the 100 meg limit to uploading to the Steam Workshop. Now, this is something that sort of frustrates people that do use the workshop. I myself use Skyrim Nexus now, as I would recommend anyone to do. However, people have their own valid reasons for why they don't use the Skyrim Nexus, why they don't want to go near it, why they don't download or even upload on it. And people do stick to the Steam Workshop, and that's their choice. That's absolutely fine. So this is very helpful for people who can you know finally upload mods bigger than 100 meg on the steam workshop may have like held mods back because they got too large or had to cut things out so that's that's great however personally i don't care but they've released this creation kit beta and what i do care about is apparently it's causing a couple of issues and i thought okay best thing to do back up my my files for the creation kit i think the only thing it ever messes with is just the executable itself so I just backed that up and I thought, well, Steam should revert back, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, I thought, I'll, I'll give it a go. And when I update to this beta, it just doesn't load anymore. I get a message. I haven't explored it. I haven't tried to find out why, because quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me. I'll just stay on the previous version if I have to. But uh, getting all these, um, I'm just getting this one message and it, it doesn't load for me. It's just messed it up. So I've reverted back. Now this video is to just let people know there's a creation kit update and to make you aware of what you can do if some funkiness happens to you. So I'm going to start by opening up Steam. I'm under library and tools and this is where you usually find the creation kit. And it's ready to play, all good to go. At the moment I am on the the older sort of version, the version that we should all really be using now, the one before this new beta. I don't know what the, the version number is, but um, absolutely fine. I'll say no problems, no problems other than the usual, you know, general problems that we have with the creation kit, as we all know it's got many of them. And what you want to do is go properties. This is if you either want to check if you're doing the beta or if you want to try it yourself. I don't know why you'd want to, but there you go. So as you can see here, select the beta you would like to opt into. Now there's two reasons why I didn't know about this, well three reasons why I didn't know about this update. The first is the fact that I 
don't think Bethesda have really done a great job again of announcing it, despite the fact I like follow their Facebook, but I don't really check their website or anything like that, so... Uh, that's, that's one reason. The, the second reason why I didn't notice this is because I have been addicted to Ghost Recon Phantoms for the last three days, which is the period this has happened. And the third reason is the fact that even if I was on the creation kit, I wouldn't notice it because I'm opted out of the beta. So what happens is if you hit this button here, beta, creation kit, then it's going to automatically update. And sometimes Steam likes to just update without you even having a clue it's happening. As you can see, it's just started there. And what might be is, uh, people might not even be aware of it, you might be on the update anyway, you know, on the on the beta, sorry. And you'll load up the creation kit and all of a sudden, bam, it's it's having problems or it's not loading and you've, you've got issues. So the reason that you're having problems is probably because this is ticked and all you have to do to revert back is go none. I do not want to update to it. But for the time being, I'm going to keep it there. And I'm going to show you what happens now that I've updated. It might actually run and make me look like a fool, but... I'm hitting play, and I hit play there, and apparently we've got a problem with Steam UGC. Somebody might have a clue what that is, and it might be a simple fix. But the fact is, that's what happens when I've updated my creation kit. I know of one other issue with sort of the actor thing. It's pretty incredible, really. I don't know. It could be a problem with, with syncing to the, the workshop or something like that. In fact, uh, I haven't... I don't think I've even got syncing enabled, so it might be the Steam Cloud. I'm not going to try that now. The, the fact is that there could be problems with it, which is acceptable for a beta. So I'm just giving people a warning and letting them know that the beta might be causing any issues that you've been having and you're not even aware that there's there's been anything updated so the best thing to do right now unless you want to try the beta is to make sure that you have opted out and what happens then is this should say update queued if it's not updating you can do one of two things restart steam and it should do it or you can just hit play and as long as the kit's not loaded you should be able to force it to update for you it should be fairly quick or at least it will be for me because my internet's fairly speedy we shouldn't take more than two minutes and then it should work again without any problems now also be aware i'm not sure if it's done it but when you have to set up your any files to allow for multiple master files to be loaded and basically load up the dlcs you're going to want to make sure that it hasn't overwritten those files so check those over you might have to do that again uh, the best thing to do is just copy your your any before you do any updating or just do it again if it's automatically done it for you. So I just wanted to make people aware of that. I, there, there isn't a f sort of an announcement on the Bethesda blog. I thought the logical thing to do is to go into the news on the Bethesda website. And obviously they haven't posted anything. But then I'm like, okay, I did a Google search. Bethesda blog, apparently there's this proper update, 1933. And it, it's done like a beta and they've got little guides there useful for those who do want to load files more than 100 meg but just a warning at the moment being beta what the <laughs> you know I, I wouldn't really be fussed with it right now so just keep an eye on it keep an eye on things because we know what happens sometimes when bethesda decides to, to update something and mess with something that's working perfectly fine things go a well so there we go i'm going to stop rambling now anyway hope that was very useful to people anyone that is having a problem and please let me know in the comment section if you've updated the beta if you weren't aware of this what's happening with you and uh, that would be really useful really great help other people out uh, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already visit my anti-social websites and my main website i'm also currently doing a lot of streaming on corinthia tower the brand new version uh, corinthia tower reborn if i stick with the name and thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time.